everybody. How y'all doing? Are you hey, okay? In your neck of the When we dry them up, too cool. Now go too deep, you know. Yeah, yeah, fair watch you do, you know. Our troops, see that? Apple cider vinegar and our troops. Come up at right, make them get saturated in the gravy and all of that. On today's episode of the Jamaican cooking journey, I'll be sharing with you a turkey neck recipe. Let me introduce to you what I'll be using and then I'll tell you what we're going to call this turkey neck thing. So we, I have here, this looks like about two, two and a half pounds of turkey neck and it is all cleaned and washed. And you might want to say I did not show you. Yes, I did in a full tutorial. So I'm going to link that tutorial up in the description of this video. You go check out or you must clean up your turkey neck and get it clean. When you're ready, it must not, it's not supposed to have any bloody look or any bloody water running. So that tutorial has been done for you about three years now. Because you know we just celebrated our five years anniversary. So it has been there about three years now. So I'm going to link that up for you. This here is something if you're a person that likes bony meat this year is a really good eat but but you got to do it properly girl this has a sort of fire back rub taste way you gotta you gotta get this thing right i'm gonna let you get it right today so we are gonna be seasoning it we're gonna be flouring it and we're going to fry it crispy and then we're gonna use some barbecue sauce to finish it in the oven ends let me show you and we are going to mix some of the sauce bosses sweet and spicy you'll see what we're going to be doing so now let me just get my hand here i have my gloves on and you can do this with your pure hands and the only reason i put on the gloves is for the ice all spice or pimento you have crushed it me and it now have no i really no look so i'm gonna put on that is about a teaspoon of powdered all spice me crush it out yeah, so if you have the powder one, deal with it in. But I prefer you get the fresh ones. Just don't put it in there like that. Powder it out. You know, grind it out. I'm going to put a little black pepper. It won't do me no arm. So I use refined like how I use the, the kind of rough chop um, thing there already. Yeah. Well, I'm going to put some salt, of course. Hmm? Yeah. And this is just my way of seasoning, family. You can just use your way. Do your thing. Hmm? Season all you want to. No this thing i use a lot and when i say a lot you see the amount what i have and these are all the garlic pegs seven and i'm gonna put all of them all grated in there some ginger root and for this amount i'll be using this amount of ginger root grated you know because let me tell you this thing have a raw taste with you have to have a lot of garlic and the ginger in there and the pimento seed or the allspice you've got to have it or else you're not going to enjoy you know because my stomach is very my stomach is a very delicate all right so look at that now you see the amount grated garlic grated ginger i have my allspice i put a little black pepper and of course i have salt now i want to get me some of this and i'm not gonna put like all these hard sticks in there i'm gonna stop it this so see this is the jamaican scotch bonnet yeah we have to put few pieces of it try just omit this seed because yeah this is not too bad we have this um sweet and spicy sauce that we are gonna use to put it in another oven. this i want a lot of this especially the green part and that is what i'm gonna do now and come back so this is what i have here and I'm going to pause here to tell you, until you all know the power that this green part of the skeleton gives any meat, any fish, any stew, until you know about that flavor, you're not going to understand until you know. So these are some little sharp edge pan, some of the little bone part them. So actually this is my seasoning hmm, for this. I'm so I'm through. I'm through right here and this is what I'm gonna be working in all these in here turning the parts over 
and you must be properly drained you don't want when you're doing this you have a lot of water in the bottom of your container that you're seasoning up with and all that and you must as i say make sure you get all bloody water draining from this thing it is a very nice eat fam but you have got to put some time in there whatever you put in there it's what you get out i'm gonna continue rubbing this rubbing this up and i'm gonna cover it i'm gonna leave it to marinate for a pretty good two hours anytime over two hours would be even better but for the interest of time on this video that is what i'll be doing covering it up and leaving it to just take root i'm gonna work this seasoning around with my hands these the, 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 the skeleton until you all know you will you won't understand until you use it and you prove it so this is for me but when you get yours and want to do yours do you if you want to do me that's why i'm showing you this part this part so i'll catch you in the next clip yeah so after one and a half hour fam i didn't go fully too mm -hmm. YouTube editing cars that so this is where I'm at you saw me when I left the last time I was putting on the finishing finishing <clears throat> seasoning and did I say I am very much allergic to the pimento so hence when I'm using it I have to put on my gloves and sometimes me don't even have to touch it family you know so what I have here is some flour with a little extra salt and a little black pepper so I'll be moving all these seasonings from each piece of my turkey neck and I'll be putting it in here. Hmm? Yeah, because I going to need this seasoning, you know, and I going to show you how I going to deal with the seasoning. Forget it to mix with the barbecue sauce when we're putting it into the oven. And I am doing this tutorial and I cannot wait to get down into this thing because i know it's gonna be so so good so it's a little timely exercise right here to try to remove all your seasonings because you see some herbs and all of them something so this is how i season my turkey neck i try to keep away from no 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 so i try to keep away from artificial seasoning as much yeah this is how i do it make sure it's properly clean all the bloody water wash out and everything it's gonna take a little time right on over here i got me some oil that i am pre-eating so let me turn it down a bit and i'm gonna flour these in batches maybe about two batch and i'm gonna put it in the oil to fry i want the, them to have a nice pretty like oh yeah do your chicken yeah so you put it in a dry butter you don't try to put this one in a wet butter you see yeah so i'm gonna do that and return okay coated to the best of my ability in this dry mixture knock the excess off into the oil the oil could a little hotter i did turn it down but it doesn't matter i'm really not the the eat now let us wait a little until it come up a little more because i turn it down okay remember to shake the excess don't crowd this thing too much and i'm using a dutch pot i better yet you know my woman and jesse she can deal with them thing a better so we are gonna leave it right there on the medium and we are gonna let it brown this is not i this is medium going good way from i but we don't want it burn up we just want it brown up i mean when it's a brown up it's, a t it's taking the color and also it's cooking so you see we have it like a more kind of it's not fully deep fat but it is a little more than shallow fat so we are going to brown from one side and when one side is ready i'm going to come back turn and show you and we're going to do that with every single piece so i'm soon come okay now so we are ready to turn and this your brown pretty and crispy they are yeah that's all we want then that's how we want them to coat them up with the barbecue sauce to put them in the oven nice so you do it on a medium heat right after you coat it up with the flour 
you don't do it on too much of a IE. So you see that brown pretty and it has a crisp in it. That's all you want. We're going to do these set and then we're going to do the other set. And when all of that is finished, we will return ready to get it in our oven. Let's soon come. That one is allowed. Now, this is what it looks like. Let me get him a close up, Dad. Yeah all crunchy and nice with that flour all fried on to the turkey next and all of that try to select round pieces you know so over here now we have got a lot of flavors in here but we have some oil so you could wait until the oil cools down mine is st still have a time to go i'm gonna skim off all of this oil and what is in the bottom of the fat the pot is all those little you know those little crumbs let me say crumbs left back you know like when you fry your chicken so i am going to take my time and to remove all of this oil because this flavor that is in the bottom of the pot we are going to use it with just a little teeny bit of the oil for this seasoning here we're going to cook it out cook it down to just like like just a little gravy thing and then you'll see what i do with it at this point you should have your oven preheated at 350 fahrenheit or 175 celsius we are going to deal with the oven scene so we'll take off this and can i say if you are read so far in the video you're still here have you subscribed if not what are you waiting for remember to make sure you hit that thumbs up button i'll catch you in the next clip so i have removed most of my oil and you see it there you don't have to throw this out yeah okay so remember you know add times are ahead and if you feel like you really don't want it to use again and you have your puppies you can really use it for make them food so this is our beauty here we're going to put it right down in there dad did you show them what is left in here yeah we're going to put that in here all those garlic left back garlic ginger scallions and all like that right down in here Mm -hmm. pop your flame up mm -hmm. a little hot water or warm preferably right here now yeah just make this just start frying out a bit on high this time you're gonna cook these until they are limp saute them out you see until they are limp and then after that whilst you keep this on your stove top let it stay warm. My oven has just been preheated before I came on here now. I am the very ice, saute them out till they come in. Rubbing them along, soon come. So I've rinsed it out with a little water. And that's right there. Still on the ice. We're going to let it cook, let those kellyans cook out. Mm, you see that so you still have something wrong yeah and let me tell you something you would have to be here in my kitchen in jamaica i can't explain to you the flavors the, the, it's just flavors flavors plus that next clip so we're coming here i'm making sure that you see every single step of this thing in our family coming at once Oh, no call. Miss Debbie, I didn't see you, Miss Debbie. So I hope you're making that you are making sure that you're looking. You know, you see that? That is flavor. Flavor, flavor, flavor. So you're going to rub out this now. Rub it out to nothing. Take your time and you're just going to rub it out. And then let me catch you back in the next clip. See it? I did tell you that my oven was being preheated. I like to pop my little casserole in there at this time. I like to put my thing in my casserole really hot. I'm using this barbecue sauce. You use what you want. You could use a homemade one too. Sometimes I would have homemade. So I'm gonna empty most of this in there. So you feel free for use. This is up to you now. This has nothing to do with me right now. And you want dissolve. So let me show you. In addition to this, I want to use some of the sauce bosses, sweet and spicy sauce. Wow, this sauce is oh god. Oh, let me tell you, this girl, this young lady, she write her hand on these sauces. 
So you want to mix until this is all the way in there now. Mix until you see the barbecue, you see how it's ribboning with the original sauce from off the seasonings. So you want to spend some time, family. Spend some time until you get it. You see everything is coming brown? Yes, this is what we're going to do. When you see me next, my casserole should be all hot. And then we have a deal with this thing in the oven. Look here, eh? You need to mix some more. Lump free. I don't even have to taste this. I honestly don't even have to taste this. Let me get my casserole. Wow, my oven is popping with heat at 175 Celsius degree in degrees. Yep. Got me here. Wow, a little hot oil. Don't do as I do. Yeah, I like to grease my casserole i don't know about you but if you don't like to i like to because it it's easier for the thing not to burn you know barbecue sauce as in sugar so i pull out a bigger one but i realized that that one would be too big hmm? grease up the casserole and the casserole did it well i up already you know i up yeah i up yeah yeah you hear my oven yeah chipping in and chipping out let me remove this oh let me bring this over and i'll add that still gonna give it a little more mix and return let me soon come ready to coat and i'll add that a little tip off look at that Tell me what you know about that. You have definitely gotten the picture. I'm gonna finish all of this and return. All done. You wanna put some of this extra on top. It doesn't matter if they be on top right now. You see how them look? Yeah, they're good, they're okay. We might not put all of this though, but you want to get enough. You don't want it to come out dry. You just want it to come out nice, juicy, succulent, and all of that. I think we can stop there. Your foil paper at this time. If you are a person that you're not into foil paper, double the foil. You can just put a piece of things. You, you know, people know, oh, don't use the foil. Da, 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 da. All you got to do, I prefer to put the shine side down. When it's stick, it's easier. Just put a piece of... um parchment over this and then you put your file paper if you are that person with the old file spoil paper story close it up properly it doesn't have to be neat but it has to be properly covered nicely covered so it will go inside of the oven and it's gonna start steaming in there at 175 for 45 to 50 minutes depending on your oven mm? and when that is time has elapsed we'll come right back to you right there next clip 45 minutes later fam and i have just taken this from the oven look at this you seen that bubbling daddy on it we have just removed it oh my word from the oven look at this dad what do you think about this ooh, ooh, ooh. look at this look at this fam in the next clip I'll have some plate up for you. I'll show you what I'm putting with it. This is your plate cooking fam from my kitchen to yours from my jamaican kitchen to your family table to your plate and most of all to your stomach it is barbecued turkey necks done in your oven look at my homemade broad bean stew i did it right there just for you and i know homemade that is you're gonna ask me the link for that video oh i showed you how to do homemade butter beans it i'll link it up for you some fresh 
chop freshly chopped romaine lettuce some plummy tomatoes please do enjoy now if you have liked this video just remember to give it a big fat thumbs up remember to make sure you subscribe you know the whole works press the option the notification bell press the option that says all leave me a comment below on this one what do you think about this barbecue the turkey next done right in your oven in the description of this and all my other videos and lives there will be the link to how to get your turkey neck all cleaned up how to make this broad bean stew and all of that now there also will be the link to my merch store the link to my patreon page if you think i haven't got anything left in this tank of the jamaican cooking journey tell me tell me in the comments